the fact that I want to do, live and experience so much and there doesn't seem to be enough time for everything can make me anxious and make me rush things. And the more I rush, the unhappier I get. Rushing to me means that I overwork myself. I do more and listen less to what my body and my mind need at the moment. It usually means that I'm in a state of where I'm not willing to accept and be satisfied with the current situation I'm in, but I see something bright in the future and I want to be there as quickly as I can. It is when I'm not enjoying the journey, but I want to be in that final destination right now and feel what that feels like to be there. And I know it's wrong. It is an unhealthy state to be in with lots of unhealthy and rushed choices. And thankfully I can reflect on it now and see it the way I do. But it still happens to me. It is actually hard work to build a daily routine for yourself that keeps you in a healthy and grounded state of mind all the time. Especially when you have small kids like me. So how do we unrush ourselves? What can we do to outsmart our urge to be as fast and efficient as possible? This is where rituals come to play a big role. Ask yourself, what are the things that you do on a daily basis? And how can you slow them down to create mindful, slower moments for yourself during the day? For me, it was, for example, making coffee. We used to have a Senseo machine. That thing, you know, where you just throw in a coffee pad, you press a button and your not-so-delicious coffee is ready in like 30 seconds, that thing. And in that 30 seconds, I would maybe grab a snack, check my phone and then grab my coffee and head back to my working desk. And at the end of the day, I probably wasn't able to tell you how many cups of coffee I have had. Now I have coffee beans in my house and I love how they look and I love the sound they make when I put them in the coffee grinder. And when grinding them by hand, the incredible lovely smell of fresh grinded coffee will make its way into your nose and actually that might be the best part of coffee anyways. All these steps take much longer, of course, but it is so worth it. Not only will you get way more delicious coffee and coffee smell, you will create a mindful, slow moment in your day and the fact that you take the time to create something for yourself with so much care is an act of self-love. So I believe that slow rituals subconsciously can tell your mind you're worth it and you take good care of yourself. That means that you love yourself. And that, I believe, is a recipe for more happiness, health and resilience. It is definitely not the ultimate solution to feeling unrushed. I still struggle a lot with the voice in my head telling me that I need to use every hour as hardly working as possible to achieve my goals. And when I do not, I feel guilty and I hate that feeling. However, slow rituals are a wonderful starting point if you feel rushed, overwhelmed and anxious about the fast pace of life. They give you something to hold on, something to look forward to, a mindful moment of self-love and appreciation every single day. If I make memories to rewind